Making Change as a Cashier, Part 2, When the Customer Gives You Extra Coins. Sometimes when we're giving change, a customer will give us an extra coin or extra coins. If the total on the register says $4.55 and they give us a $5 bill and a nickel, don't be confused. This nickel is going to come off the total. They're taking five cents off the total. So it's $4.50 and they're expecting two quarters as change. This is why. Ignore this nickel. Let's say it was $4.55 and they gave us a $5 bill. We would start counting at the $4.55 and say $4.65 with a dime and $4.75 with another dime. And then we would give them a quarter. That would be $5. But by them giving us this extra nickel, it's, see how it's 50 cents? It's a quarter, two dimes and a nickel. Do you see that? So if they give you this extra nickel, take it off of the total. So instead of $4.55, think of this as $4.50, and their change would be two quarters. Now let's try that again, because that could be confusing. So now the total on the register is $7.51, and the customer gives us $8 and a penny. What do they want from us? Well, the customer is saying they don't want a handful of change. If they were to have just given us $8 and we ignored the penny, they didn't give us the penny. If they had just given us the $8, we would have to start counting up from 51 and do 52, 53, 54, 55, and a dime would be 65, and another dime would be 75, and then a quarter would be the $8. If you count this, we have 25, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. We're one penny short from having 50 cents, which would be two quarters. By the customer giving us this penny, it's like saying that this is just $7.50. We take that penny away. So instead of giving them all that change, we can just give them two quarters as their change. Let's try another one. Now the total on the register shows $15.09 and the customer gives you $20.10. We're going to take this 10 cents away from the $15.09. If we took 10 cents away from $15.09, we would have $14.99. $15.09, take away $0.10 cents is $14.99. By them giving this dime, we're going to give them change for a total of $14.99 from a 20. All we have to do is count up one penny to get to $15. Then we can just give them a five. They get $5.01 as change. Now, what would have happened if they didn't give us the dime? If they didn't give us the dime, we would have had to give them a big handful of change. $15.09, one penny would be $15.10. A dime would be $15.20. Now we're at fifteen twenty-five, and we'd have to give them three quarters to be at sixteen dollars. Then we would have to use ones: seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So they would get four one-dollar bills, three quarters, a dime, a nickel, and a penny if they didn't give us that dime. 
Because they gave us the dime, their change is just a $5 bill and a penny. What we did was we took the 10 cents from the $15.09, which made it $14.99, and then we gave them a penny to make it $15 and a five to make it $20. They just get a $5 bill and a penny instead of all of this. Maybe they have too much in their pockets and they don't have room, but sometimes people will give you extra money and you need to figure out the change, especially if the power goes out where you work and the cash register is not telling you what the change is. This time, the total on the register is $23.52, and the customer gives you $30.02. They gave us extra coins, so we're going to take this off the total, and it will be $23.50. We give change as $23.50. This two cents comes off the total. From $23.50, we can give them two quarters and we'll be at $24. One more dollar and we're at $25. And a $5 bill, we're at $30. They would get $6.50 change. Now the total on the register is $38.25, and the customer gives us $40.25. We're going to take this 25 extra cents off of the total. That means our total is $38 even. We're going to give them change from $40 for a total of $38. We count up to 40. We're at $38, $39, $40. They're going to get $2 change. Now, what would have happened if they didn't give us that extra quarter and they just gave us $40? We would have had to count from $38.25, give them three quarters to be at $39 and another dollar to be at 40. They would have gotten a dollar 75 cents. Maybe they don't want coins in their pocket. By giving us that extra quarter, they got two $1 bills for their change. Okay, here's our last one. The total on the register shows $17.03. And the customer gives us $20.03. They're telling you they don't want 97 cents in change to go up to $18. By them giving you this three cents, we're taking the three cents off the total. So you're going to give them change for $17 from a $20 bill. We'll start counting at $17, $18, $19, $20, they'll get $3 in change. Now, what would have happened if they didn't give us the three cents? They just gave us a $20 bill. We would have to start counting from $17.03 up to $20. We would have to give them 97 cents just to get to $18. We're at $17.03, $17.04, $0.05, $0.05, a dime would make 15, another dime would make 25, and then we could go 50, 75, $18, then we'd have to use ones, $19, $20. They would get $2.97 in change. But by giving us the three cents, they got change for $17 as a total and got $3 in change instead of $2 in all these coins. Sometimes people don't like to have a lot of coins in their pocket, so they give you extra money. Practice counting change at home 
and see the description of this video for links to my videos about money. And if you missed it, I'll have a link in the description of this video for my Making Change as a Cashier Part 1. Bye!